Hi, I'm uh, Michael Schultz with Allard Equipment, and we have our Lock Loma representative, Todd Schonauer, here with us today. We're going to be demonstrating uh, these beautiful MET 30 Plus 3F metal detectors, which are available here at Allard Equipment, available for immediate shipment. We stock Lock Loma metal detectors on our floor here in our carpeted showroom. Um, we're going to be demonstrating the Lock ADC software, and we're going to be playing a game of Stump the Rep. So bear with us. And they haven't done it yet. <laughs> what you can see over here on the computer screen, and let's clear this so we start with a blank slate. There's a, a simple graph. What this does is, a, is that it allows us to see what the metal detector sees. Why is that important to you? Because if we know what the metal detector sees, we can quickly make adjustments. Uh, this PC is communicating with the LockMet 30 Plus metal detector, which can tune the metal detector in very precisely and very quickly. So just as an example, um, what uh, Todd has taught us today is that <coughs> ferrous material, that means metal, steel, iron, that type of thing, uh, that is magnetic, will show uh, a line in this direction, F, moving to the right. Non-ferrous, like the angle in the middle of the letter N, will be this way and stainless steel particles will be a vertical signature. So we're going to uh, see if we can fool Todd as to what we're putting through the metal detector. All right, I have in my hand three test wands, and we're going to not show them to our rep, Todd. We're going to show you what they are, and we'll see if he gets them right. I'm just going to kind of randomly pick one here. You see what it is? All right. Ah. Based on the quadrant that it's in here with the end shape, I would say that would be a non-ferrous, Michael. That is correct. Wow. All right. Wow. Trying to stump me. He's trying hard, but I would say in that quadrant, in the shape of the F for ferrous, that would be a ferrous sample. All right. And as you can see, I typically call that a north and south contaminant would happen to be stainless steel. Very good. All right, so the point here is we can see what contaminant is causing the reject and what we're getting at here is you may have false rejects anybody who has a metal detector does uh, and it's a problem because your product may change during the day perhaps you're running frozen food for example and your line is going along well and the food is coming in at a very cold temperature it's frozen very hard and very dry and it goes through the detector just like a dry product but then, perhaps as the day goes on, it's a hot summer day, your product isn't completely frozen as it goes through the metal detector, suddenly you start getting a lot of false rejects. And this is where this type of a setup can save you a lot of time in production. Okay, to simulate our frozen product, and it's hot in here now, and it's a hot summer day and I can't keep anything frozen for very long, so we're going to use a dry bottle and to simulate our thawed product, our wet product, we're going to use a wet bottle. So, we're going along with our dry product very merrily as the day goes on. And as you can see on the screen, it shows what the product looks like to the metal detector. And a dry product is very horizontal. Now we're going to have a, we're starting to get thought products in the voice down right wet. And that product, while it doesn't have any contaminant in it, because of the product effect, because it's wet, set off the alarm and caused a false reject. Now we've got to take a look at what's going on and see how we can tune it. Todd, do you want to? Absolutely. So what I'm doing here is we're looking at the ADC software. I'm going to go ahead and clear that screen right there. Knowing that our product is wet, it's going to be running north and south, I want to make the adjustment. I'm not going to be guessing, I'm not going to have to run 15 trials to try to figure out my phase angle. I know it's 90 degrees, so I will come here to my phase angle, 
I will type in 90 and enter. Now you will see, now you will see our detection envelope is running 90 degrees, so if we want to go ahead and run the wet product again, you'll see that the product signal is now running north and south, staying with inside of our boundaries. So that's a problem solved right there. Now, we have this software available to run on PC as we're doing it here. We can also offer a metal detector with this graphical display built right into the side of the metal detector so that you can solve this problem on the, on the uh, production floor without having to plug in your PC. Um, the PC does have the advantage that it's uh, large and very easy to zoom in and, and use your keyboard. The, uh, uh, the display on the machine gives you the same information and lets you do it right on the floor on the spot. Either way, it's an excellent solution uh, available only from Lock Loma Systems. And again, uh, we're at Allard Equipment. We specialize in industrial food processing solutions, and we stock Lock Loma machines here at Allard, as well as customizing made-to-order solutions for food processors. Thank you for your time.